What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 94 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I lied last episode I'm back for the Benfica game. I kind of thought about it last episode if you don't know we played our first Champions League game which you should watch. I mentioned at the end of that episode that I probably wasn't going to do the Benfica game. I thought to myself I have a lot of Portuguese viewers people are going to want to see this game let's do it. So here we are we're at the Space Park of course which uh, now has its new capacity at the moment of... Actually, it only has 9,000 capacity at the moment, but it is being upgraded still. So if you don't know about that, our stadium, which of course is named after me, the one, the only Mr. Work the Space, um, it's been expanded again. And it's going to be done, actually, in a few months' time. And it's going to be up to, I think, around 12,000, just shy of it, which is pretty crazy. Anyway, as I mentioned, I lied. Last episode, I said I wasn't going to do this game. We are. Just one game to tell you guys since the last episode. It was a 7-0 win against Lincoln Redimps. Not too much to go over there, really. Today, as I mentioned, we will be taking on Benfica, and then I am going to do a second game this episode, and that is going to be against Bayern Munich away from home. So, really, we need to get a good result in this first game if we can against Benfica. It's going to be the game that we really have to worry about. In terms of our team, in terms of what we can do, we still have a few injuries, which is a little bit of a concern. I think we are going to play the 4-4-2 attack, at least to start in this game. In terms of the team, a little bit of injury news, just so you guys are aware. Walter Del Sol, of course, one of our centre-backs, still out injured. Uh, worth noting that Helmers is now kind of fit enough, in my opinion at least, to start playing games again, which is good because the German is just an absolutely insane player for us. Anyway, we go with him and Frigier alongside each other in the midfield. Our left back, right back and goalkeeper in Young, Marriott and Tanzi remains unchanged since the last kind of game that you saw. JJ unfortunately injured himself out with a sports hernia for just shy of a month and a half. As a result of that, a new man needed in the defensive midfield position and that man is going to be Jimmy Holmes right here. Perhaps not the best defensive player in terms of his tackling, but a very experienced centre mid certainly. And I'm hoping that experience is going to serve us well. Anyway, he's accompanied by Paul Smith, Joe Bouchard and of course Dubon in the uh, right midfielder position. And then up front for today's game, Alex still struggling a little bit of an injury back in one day. And uh, as a result of that, Tuzel and Oakley play alongside each other, of course. In the first game of this group stage, we got a draw. Today, we want to get a win. Benfica did lose against Bayern Munich, so they are very much beatable. And I'm hoping we can do that here. And actually, looking here... We're favourites. I don't recall being favourites in a European game before, so hopefully we can actually get something done here. Looking at the Benfica team, uh, they've got Andre Kubas, who I mentioned, uh, who I remember and kind of am familiar with. Looks like they've got a fair few regens as well, of course. We are now, what, 13 or 14 years into this save. We are kind of reaching that age of the regens, really, where the majority of their players, they're not going to be real players. Instead, they are going to be regens. And actually, looking at their team... They've got some very good defenders. I'm not sure why we're favourites. I guess it's because we are the home side. But just looking through their team, you can see the quality that they have is pretty apparent. I kind of stated my intentions last episode, if you guys watched it, where I said, to be honest, top three this year in the league would be something to aim for. You know, if we can get top three in the group stage, that's going to put us in a position where we would go into the Europa League knockout stages. And uh, I actually think we could do a lot better there than if we were just to go into the Champions League knockout stages, which, of course, we have done in the last few years. And, well, off the back of those, we've always crumbled at the first hurdle of the knockout stages, getting knocked out uh, pretty much immediately. So perhaps Europa League football would help us. Either way, we're on the attack here. Dupont pumping the ball into the box. Oakley scores. 39 seconds on the clock. Callum Oakley with the goal. Bouchard with the assist. And, well... We move up to second in the group, and it's a dream start for us here. I mentioned Benfica's defence looking very good when we quickly had a look through it there. I mean, maybe that's misplaced. Maybe that was a compliment not to be given to them, because they did look like a dysfunctional mess early on in this game. Dupont whipping in the ball, cleared away, but Joe Pouchard, a lovely, tack uh, lovely tackle and interception, I guess, and then just a first-time pass, and Oakley's there. Eskandar, the goalkeeper, should probably do a little bit better for them, but I'm not going to complain. We do find ourselves 1-0 up in this game. And of course, just a little bit of a reminder that we are on the new match engine now. So we don't really know what to expect of our tactic. And we are going to need to defend and we've not defended. Carnu scores with Benfica's first effort of the game. The right wide man on that right hand side. Cutting inside, finding a lot of space. It was Rebelio Jose with the pass. You can see we've got our construction uh, ongoing with our new stadium and our new stand over here. But no, that was disappointing. It's 1-1 here at the space park and well... After a fantastic start, Benfica have edged their way back into this game. You'd have to say, looking at the stats, we've been pretty pretty good so far. Benfica edging possession, but only that one chance created. But we do need to defend here. 
And we've not defended in Coelho. I mean, he scored a very nice goal there on his left peg. Uh, I think it was Kubas as well with the assist. One of the few players I do recognise in this Benfica side. And it was a switch over the top. And, well, one touch, bang. I don't know if Young could do a little bit better there. The shot was hit with so much power. It was kind of behind him and past him before he was able to get close to it. And, well, Benfica, two shots, two goals. And what we don't want to do this year is not come third in the Champions League group. So far in this save, we've consistently progressed. We've gone forward as a team. You know, we've never taken a step backwards. I hope we can keep ourselves on the front foot. And we are going to actually get... A goal there. Two's on linking up with Tanzi's cross. And while we are, of course, on the new football manager patch, it doesn't look like the crosses are too different. They are very good in this game. And two's on a lovely, lovely, lovely composed finish. Six yards out. He points to the stands. He's loved it. But now we have a set piece to defend. Holmes clears it. Only his way as far away as Andre Kubas, who has already, well, cut us apart with one pass. And, well, I don't know if Young saved that, but it was an effort. And Benfica with another chance in this game. So far, this game full of chances. It is 2-2 here. Neither team kind of pulling away. You'd have to say Benfica are dominating possession, but they're not doing as much with it as perhaps they'd like to be doing with it. And, well, defensively, they've looked somewhat susceptible, and we've kind of capitalised on that so far. Both teams with just the one clear-cut chance going their way, and, well, with 10 minutes left of this first half, a goal either way would really change the complexion of this tie and certainly change how I approach the team talk. That said, however, with a minute left, it looks like we aren't going to be seeing anything more in this first half. And, well, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that first half. Definitely could have been a lot worse for us. 2-2, two -two, you know, we're getting the goals. If we could tighten up a little bit defensively, um, we'd be on top in this game. It's come... Well, both goals came from pretty much nothing. Two well-taken goals, really, by Benfica, as were ours, to be honest. But, alas, it is 2-2. Two -two, and, well, after a draw in our first game, considering Benfica lost their first game... We've really got to be targeting a win in this, the first kind of home tie of the group stage for us. And I don't know, we might have to look to make some changes. Looking at it, Bayern Munich 3-0 up now against Inter Milan. Of course, we do have a, a fairly good record against Bayern Munich, which is certainly worth considering. But at the same time, um, they're a good team. They they hammered Benfica and, well, it's going to be a tough ask for us. And we do need to defend here. Ball whipped in. Headed clear, but only as far as Coelho, who's already got one goal, comes into the box. Holmes with a nice tackle. Now can we break away? Two's on to Dupont. Tries to thread through Oakley, who is a pacey man. And I'm thinking about changing our system here. I feel like there's a goal coming from Benfica. And I'm going to have to maybe change things up a little bit. Maybe switch to a 4 2 3 1. Try and get an extra man in midfield and try and win that battle. Because right now we are losing that. And well, Benfica bring the ball forward here. Jose with an effort. Saved away by the keeper. A great save there. But Benfica with a clear-cut chance. Now can we counter Smith? Down this left-hand side is dispossessed. That's going to be the end of that chance, I imagine. And yeah, I think we're going, to, we're going to go for an attacking change here. We are going to keep Oakley on. I'm going to take off twos on. Uh, and I think the change we're actually going to make is... I'm going to bring Bouchard into a centre-attack in mid-position. And then we're going to bring in Anibal Perez. Uh, this guy, the Uruguayan... Uh, kind of in a um, centre mid role for us. A player who's not been given a lot of chances, really. I believe he joined us last year, I want to say. He's a m very much a capable player, just not had a ton of opportunities. The other option I have is actually to play him at attacking midfield, and that actually might be what we do. This guy, you know, he's got points to prove. Joined us last year for 27k. Yet to make a league appearance. Going to get a chance here, however, on the big stage. And well, with 25 minutes left, he has a chance to get himself into the history books. Looking at our team, a few players are getting a little bit tired. We have got a few yellow cards as well, but uh, with some of the injuries we've got, we are lacking uh, real strength in our main positions, I guess you could argue. The likes of Alex, our striker, struggling a little bit. Walter Del Sol uh, out. We also, of course, have uh, JJ out at centre mid. So we are missing a few players down the core of our side. And to be honest, it looks like this is probably going to be a draw. 30 seconds left of this game. Not a bad result. We remain unbeaten, I guess, in the Champions League, unless there's going to be a very late chance here. And we will go marching into the second game of this live comp against Bayern Munich with a little bit of pressure on our shoulders. But you never know what can happen. As I mentioned, we have a good record against the men. Well, it's better to get a point than nothing at all. And I do actually believe this result will see us move second in the group. So definitely could be worse. That said, however... I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent happy with what we've seen on show there. Bouchard with a fantastic performance, nevertheless. Anyway, guys, as I said, second episode got to come your way. This episode, we are taking on or second match coming this episode, I should say. We're taking on Bayern Munich. Let's get straight into that game. I will see you guys for that match day, as it is in a few weeks' time. Okay, guys, so we are back here for the second game of this episode, and as you can see here, I was just sorting out my squad management. 
A little bit of a situation going on. Paul Smith unfortunately suspended. As a result, we have a somewhat weaker team. That said, you know, it's still a very strong team. And I'm hoping that, well, despite the odds perhaps being against us here, taking on Bayern Munich, we can at least try and get a result against them. If we look at the past meetings, you can actually see that we don't have the worst record against them. In fact, we've won one and we've drawn one. Whether or not we can keep that going today, not entirely sure. Of course, Daniele Russo not here to save the day for us this time around. And of course, we, we also beat them. This was two years ago now. Uh, and the other time we beat them, we had a sending off. So both games we've ever played against Bayern Munich have been feisty affairs. I'm hoping we're going to not see too many sendings off today because... It kind of puts you at a disadvantage, really, doesn't it? Either way, looking at our team for today's game, a few changes. Young in goal is the same old, same old. Back four, fairly standard. Marriott, Frigere, Helmers, and Tanzi. In midfield for today's game, with Paul Smith out injured, I've elected to put Dupont out on the left-hand side. The left midfielder... Well, I say left midfielder. He's a right midfielder. Not much of a left midfielder. Right-only footedness, but he's going to have to play there for us. That results in Christian Mendes, the young Colombian, coming in at the right-back position. And let me tell you now, Christian Mendes making a name for himself domestically. He got five goals, or he has got five goals so far, in two appearances in the Premier Division, and one other that came on off the bench. He's been getting goals for fun. Hopefully he can put in a good shift here. In the centre midfield, we go with Holmes and Bouchard, with JJ still out injured. And our front, foot through, front two, I can't talk, for today's game, Alex and Oakley. So kind of a, a standard team for the most part there. For this game, we are going to play the 4-4-2 counter. I think that is going to be in our interest. Since the last episode, just the two games that you guys did miss, we won 11-0, or no, actually I made that up. We won 10-0 and 7-0. So some good results there. Not a lot really to tell you guys about them. I believe our unbeaten run in the leagues is like very big. I'm going to look for it now because I can't remember the actual numbers. But I believe it's up to like 170 games. Yeah, 174 games unbeaten. And that stretches back to 2021. Bear in mind, that was, what, six and a half years ago. So we're going we're going pretty well, I think it's fair to say. I believe our unbeaten run in terms of wins in a row is in the region of 152. Either way, this is a slightly different task, isn't it? Bayern Munich away from home. We've been here before. Let's see if we can pull off the impossible yet again. We are missing a few key players. JJ is a big miss. Smith is a massive miss. Uh, in defence, I guess, we have pretty much our strongest team, so I can't come up with too many excuses there. But yeah, this is going to be uh, a hard game for us, and it's going to be one where we, we need to... I don't know. We need to be realistic about our expectations here. We kind of need to go into this game... I just give it our best shot, but there is no real pressure on us. That said, I kind of have some pressure on us simply because we have got Bayern Munich to play in our next Champions League game at home. And given the fact we've drawn our first two games, we really need to get a win in at least one of these games against Bayern Munich. Let's see how we go on here anyway, regardless. It's going to be a massive undertaking, really. Stated earlier, of course, that, well, really, we're aiming for top three in our group if we can, and well... If we get a few more draws and maybe one win, we'll be in good stead to at least try and achieve that. Against Bayern Munich here, you know, they've played two, they've won two. Um, they are the big team in this group, and it's going to be hard. It is going to be hard. There's no denying that. So we just have to see how we get on here. Early on, not a load of chances, although, as I said, Bayern Munich now coming on the attack. You can see us sitting fairly deep in our counter-attacking shape. And while Dupont, who's not a, a natural left midfielder with a fantastic tackle there, now can we break Bouchard up to Oakley, takes it down well, and finishes it. And Callum Oakley has just scored an absolutely beautiful goal. We hit them on the counter. Bayern Munich do not know what's hit them. I think it was Bouchard with the ball through. It was well taken down as well. And the finish was dispatched expertly by the big man up top. Oakley knocked it down for himself. A fantastic win there. And while the other defender should probably do a little bit better, number six not doing Fest any favours in kind of bailing him out after that initial mistake. And we take a lead here, although Bayern Munich going to be looking for that quick response. Ball into the box. Young with the save, though. The young Swede, he clutches onto it. He keeps us in it. That was a good chance for Bayern Munich. It wasn't a clear-cut chance, but nevertheless, it was a warning to us. And, well, maybe we have a chance here. Oakley should have scored. Is that gone in? It's... What? Right. Pause. Pause. Breathe. We need to watch it in 3D. We need to watch it in 3D. That chance. I want us to discuss how this didn't go in. Bear in mind, we are on the new match engine. Never seen anything like this before. I'm going to slow it down a little bit too. Let's relive this chance. So Alex heads it through. 
Oakley shoots. Let me slow it down more because it's clearly not slow enough. Oakley shoots. Keeper parries it. Hits the defender on the head. The keeper somehow keeps it out. And they scramble it away. I'm going to say this. We are on the new match engine. I feel like in the old match engine, those kind of chances, they just end up in the back of the net. Like somehow the goalkeeper and defender hit the ball into one another. At least that, that's my experience with those chances. I'd like to know what you guys think. Maybe that's the new match engine. Maybe that's just a freak incident. But interesting. Interesting. And well, unfortunate not to be ahead. Oakley did have a good chance there. Unfortunately for us, however... Didn't make it count, and well, it remains just the one goal lead here. And now we need to defend a set piece. Ball whipped in. Young with a nice save. Blocked away. Bouchard going to carry the ball away. Gets dispossessed, but, well, a clear-cut chance goes a beg in there for Bayern Munich. A good chance there from a set piece for them to try and make something happen. But Young in goal with a good save. I think it was a good block as well. Through the crowd of bodies, I couldn't really make out who it was. But regardless, some bravery in the box. Our players throwing themselves at it maintains the gap but that said this relentless assault that Bayern Munich have been unloading on us continues Yago out on the left options in the middle on that left peg of his will whip it in back post hits the post cleared away by Helmers and while well, the German centre-back having a good performance so far against a German team right here clearly trying to get back into contention for the national team and well if we can keep a clean sheet I mean it'd be a great performance by him that said Bayern Munich still bringing the ball forward here. This chance is not over yet. Ball in, headed away. Mendes already on a booking. Got to be careful there, really. The young Colombian, 19 years old. But yeah, inexperienced mistake, you think, if he threw it away. And well, young there, another great save. That was another great chance for Bayern Munich. But again, the keeper stands tall, gets himself behind it, parries it to safety. And now if we can get into half-time at 1-0, this would be fantastic. So far, the player's doing so good. And actually, we might have a chance here. Oakley holding up the ball well. Cross to Alex, who has pace. Runs inside. I thought he was about to win a penalty. That said, Timo Horn in goal for Bayern Munich. Collects the ball. And, well, with just a few minutes left of, until halftime, we just need to hold on. We need to hold on. And at the moment, it remains 1-0. And, well, it's a little bit undeserved so far. We've ridden our luck. We've had some chances. But I think there's a lot to come from our team today. A good team talk at the moment as well. They're reacting well for the most part, the players, which is good. And now we just have 45 more minutes to try and hold on here for what would be a historic win if we could get it away from home here. I assume it's at the Allianz Arena. But yeah, no pressure, boys. But if we can hold on here, that would be quite nice. Anyway, 50 minutes gone. I'm just staring in the top left. I can't be doing that. It's too early on to be staring at the clock. Set piece, Yago punishes us. And it's a set piece, and well, they had one earlier by Munich. They had a set piece chance earlier, and they hit the woodwork from it. And that was the warning. Right there, the warning, you know, it wasn't it wasn't listened to the first time. This time the ball whipped in. Mendes kicks it, and it's a very unfortunate kind of goal, really, to concede. Mendes, the, the right midfielder, boots it into the face of Carlos Eduardo, who, well, off the ricochet, it just comes to the head of Iago, who heads it in from point-blank range. But regardless... Well, let's not concede from two corners if we can avoid it, please, boys. Ball initially cleared, but, well, Bayern Munich going to come back on the offensive here. Lay it out wide. They've got a lot of men over on this left-hand side. Yago, the goal scorer. To Dier Carte, to Carlos Eduardo, who's got the assist already this game. Runs wide. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. What's happening? I don't know. It's been blocked by someone. We are really living on the edge here. Part of me thinks... Part of me thinks, Jack... Just go on attacking. Half an hour left. We're drawing this game. If we draw every game in the Champions League, we're not going to be in the best position in the world. We need to go out there and try and make something happen. So let's go out there and try and make something happen. JJ's struggling for fitness. But I kind of feel like this is a game for him to come into. Jimmy Holmes already booked. JJ going to come back into the side. Still carrying a little bit of an injury. Taking off two players who are booked. Getting some fresh legs in the midfield. And we are, we're going to go on the offensive here. We are going to go on the offensive and try and make something happen. Because right now, Bayern Munich, they're ripping us to shreds at the back. We are just not able to push out. We're sitting back. We're just welcoming on an onslaught. And, well, I think our best form of defence here is going to go on the attack. Because I feel like conceding is inevitable in this game. And we need to try and get another goal as well. Eduardo shoots. I think Young tipped it over. The initial shot hit the crossbar. And, well, it doesn't seem like attacking is changing our fortunes as that header will sail over. But 20 minutes left in this game, we're going to stay on attacking. We're going to try and make something magical happen here. JJ the sub, up to Oakley. Can he win it? Nods it down to Jason Hall, the sub. Tries to cross it in. Cleared away, but Bouchard's there. 
Please, Dupont. Alex hits it. Timo Horn with a save. It was a great chance for us. A second clear cut chance of the game for us. And well, it's good to see us creating something going forward. That tactical change, you know, it's doing the, or having the desired effect. Unfortunately there, Bouchard offside having initially taken the corner. 15 minutes left. Another corner now for Bayern Munich. Lots of chances we're seeing from corners here. Can we break Bouchard? Big ball up to Alex. It's a 2v3. But we have some pacey players. Alex beats his man. Burn him. Cuts inside. Hit it, my son. Timo Horn tips it. Jason Hall, though, there. Can't get the ball into the box. Bayer going to clear up the pitch. But only as far as Tanzi. And, well, another chance goes a begging there. Wasn't a clear-cut one, but it was a very good opportunity for us there to try and get something in this game. And now another corner. It feels like every chance we see is a corner. Can we get this one away? We can't. We've been punished. Our inability to deal with set piece pieces is going to cost us in this game. Bayern Munich... Second goal of the half from them. The second corner coming in from that right-hand side. Diakate, he's put some good balls into the box. This one in. I mean, it bounces very oddly. There's a big bobble around. Young doesn't really deal with it. Carlos Eduardo says thank you very much and gets a goal. And now there's another corner. Bayern Munich near post. Yago and George Halmos gives away a penalty. We have been the masters of our own downfall here. In these big games, you need to defend well. But more importantly than anything, you have to defend set pieces well. And we've not done that. We're giving away a penalty here. This is probably going to be game over if it wasn't already. Five minutes left of this match. It's going to be Bayer to set, stand up. And, well, Young makes a save. Maybe, just maybe, there's a lifeline here. Now that we're a goal down, however, I think it's time to go on the offensive. It's time to try and make something happen. We've got to go for it. There's no point in sitting back at this point because you don't get anything for losing 2-1 in this competition. Let's see what we can make happen, boys. We're going to go on overload. We're just going to try and pump the ball into the box if we can. Hit the early crosses more direct. Close down as much as possible. I mean, let's see what we can do here with the time we've got remaining. We're really going to be looking just to get the ball to the wide areas. Get balls into the box. Not a lot of time here, but we might have a chance. Tansy to Jason Hall. Options in the middle. Oakley, he hits it. He scores it. It's 2-2. We have got something from absolutely nothing. Callum Oakley, take a bow, my son. 2-2. And while the tactical change, with not a lot of time remaining, comes up Millhouse. Look at it. Jason Hall there. The right back, who's playing at right attacking mid for us. Lays him off. Oakley, first time. Bang. Bang. Thunder bastard. It's 2-2. Two -two. Right. Park the bus. Park the bus. We don't, we don't need to stand attacking anymore. I will very much take a draw from this game, which we probably don't deserve a lot from. Oh, let's not concede another corner. Not now. Young with the save. Now can we counter? There's two minutes left. There might be an opportunity. We've got some pacey forwards. The Bayern Munich defence, you know, it might be flagging a little bit. Oakley to Jason Hall. One assist to his name already. Holds up the ball well. Bouchard to Dupont. Hit that. He's offside. The keeper saves it as well. Wouldn't have counted. But with a minute left in this game, there's still probably a chance. There's still probably a chance of some kind. I'm nervous. It's squeaky bum time. I want the draw. We've switched to counter-attacking to try and hold on to it. Dupont. Hacks down his man and gives away a free kick in a silly position. Diakate, he's punished all, us already from set pieces. This time, though, Jay Marriott going to deal with it. Now can we counter JJ? Alex, 15 seconds left. Bouchard charging forward. He's not going to get to it. That is going to be game over right there. It's going to finish here 2-2. A pretty epic game, if I might say so myself. So many chances in this game. A plucky performance, however. We retain our unbeaten kind of run against Bayern Munich. But Ludwig Young in goal, a 9.0 average rating. Oakley with an 8.8 .8 as well. Joe Bouchard also stepped up to the plate. This was a game where we needed some big performances. And, well, if you want to cause an upset, you need your goalkeeper to have a stormer. And you need your striker to take the chances that come his way. And we've had both of those things go our way right here. An epic live com, if I might say so myself. A really enjoyable game. Uh, at least in hindsight, perhaps not so much when it was going on. Ultimately, however, we do come away with a point. We retain our unbeaten run. And we go into the next game that we have against Bayern Munich in an okay position, really, in the league, all things considering. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, if we could smash, I don't know, let's say 500 likes. This was an enjoyable episode for me. I'm sure you guys enjoyed it too, particularly this second game. I feel exhausted just having watched it. It was one of those kind of games. Uh, so yeah, as I said, thank you for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. I don't know why you'd be new here watching this. If you've got any comments about this episode, please leave them down in the comments. It was very enjoyable for me. I hope that came across in the video. And besides that, guys, it is me, Jack. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.